One well, of the first things is, the, what is that that you spoke about, the issue of trust. Everybody has issues of trust with, with, with the internet, not because people don't trust that they can be capable in terms of running their services, but because of what other people do in terms of manipulating. And that's one thing that is managed to, to unite the world, to say irrespective of the different cultural backgrounds that we have, but we all have an interest of making sure that when the users are online, they are safe. And in order to do that, we've got to make sure that we develop policies that protect personal information for people when they're online. Well, in South Africa, we have what we refer to as POPI, which seeks to say, I am a, a citizen, I have my rights, whether I'm offline or I'm online. And therefore, now we've just passed a bill in terms of cyber security bill to make sure that we criminalize those that seek to undermine our independence online. But that's not enough, because one thing about internet is that you know that we can't trace it, you've got to be going around, you can be moving your server from Kenya, you are in Paris, tomorrow you are in California. So how do we make sure that as countries, we sign up agreements together with the people that are participating in the pace, both the platforms of the content and those that create the content. But on top of that again, the issue of the ethics of the algorithms, how do we make sure that they do not discriminate against our people? How do we make sure that they do not undermine each other's rights? So those are the things that we think are very crucial for in order for us to say we would have at least managed to fight against cyberbullying and cybercrime.